in March of 2005, I had a very powerful dream. And it was so unbelievably powerful that when I woke up, I was filled with all this excitement and enthusiasm. And I it just said, go to Plaza Art Store. And, and it was very specific as to what art store I should visit and buy all of the accoutrements that you would need to start painting. So that's what I did. chose me and as soon as I started painting I, I didn't start painting a stick figure or start to draw a horse or anything like that I just took a brush and just started you know moving the brush and the knife this way and that way and when I finished my first painting I looked at it and I said oh it's abstract <laughs> and that's pretty much how it evolved pretty vivid imagination and and I also I get it from just everyday life I can look at the sky and or just see a child playing or anything and I see beauty and color and form everywhere and I just get inspiration every day I think Monet is probably my all-time favorite. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who love Monet, but I just, for me, his pieces are so soothing, and they're so serene, and they just, they talk to me. They, they just, I don't know, they, they sort of, it's like being enveloped in a cocoon, and it's a, a very warm feeling. What I think I love most about abstract is that it it encourages conversation. I think when people look at paintings, maybe they're first, you know, sort of attracted to the color or the shape or the form, and then they look a little bit deeper, especially if it's abstract and it's not glaring, it's not a, a flower, it's not a, a landscape, it's something that they actually have to think about. And I love that conversation. <laughs>